It's the most wonderful time of the year. There's new monsters for mending and gems to be spending on Hollywood. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anniversary. Yay. Everybody loves the Neo Monsters anniversary. Huge time of the year, obviously. I will be honest with you. I wish I had done this live. Uh, of course, first legendary is Nova Drake, which I already have plus nine. But I got home from rehearsal last night at like one in the morning. But I knew the new egg had just dropped and the new egg pool. And I was just so excited. I just couldn't wait. And of course, second pack hatched the new mythic. So I just had to, I just had to do the opening. I recorded it. I wish I had gotten some of my live reactions because this is a pretty crazy opening. I'll just be real. We have already hatched Nova Drake. We've already hatched the new mythic and this legendary here, a brand new one. Super excited. I was really hoping for the yin yang guy, but of course it's, it's the stupid little mushroom guy. Still cool to have. Obviously I'm trying to build the collection as much as possible, but you know, this was a good hatch opening. And we're just going to keep going through this, see what I get. There's some funny moments. There's some crazy moments. There's some, I actually made a mistake um, or in this one. So you'll see that here, an Okthulu. Keep that in mind. We just got Okthulu, a non-featured legendary. So out of the three legendary if we, legendaries I've hatched so far, it was one non-featured and one featured who I already had plus nine. Here we go again, another Nova Drake. That's two Nova Drakes. We already have plus nine, by the way, before this opening even started. You guys know my Nova Drake. He's fully bonded. I use him in like every video, uh, but that was five packs. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll get some better luck on this one because I do think this one was a little more exciting in terms of the new legendary. There, I like thought, <laughs> so this was crazy. I thought they were all going to be legendaries and super epics, right? Um, and so I just hit the skip button before I saw the last egg pop and it was heaven if Brynhildr, which is like crazy. I wasn't even expecting that. And I skipped and I was like, oh my gosh, I got a mythic. Um, so that was a, a funny little thing on my part, but yeah, I do think the new legendary from this pack excites me a little more than the other. They're super sad. So I wanted to spend more gems on this also because I have less of the featured legendaries. And I think the mythic is cool. That's two in a row, by the way, no legendaries. I think Gabriel's really cool. The like eternal shield is interesting. Here I was like, okay, my luck is just not great right now. Let me open some rare gems. And I said, you know, since the pool, they just updated it. Wouldn't it be funny if I got rune dragon? I literally said, this is the part where I wish, I wish, I wish I had been recording live because I swear to you, before I even tapped the rare gem button, I was like, they just updated the pool. Wouldn't it be so funny if I got Rune Dragon? And of course, out of the first rare gem, the first one that I opened during this recording session, it was Rune Dragon. I think that there's so much irony there that, you know, like I, I would have had more gems for this anniversary if I hadn't spent so much on the featured Rune Dragon banner. And I just think it's so funny that the first rare, che rare, rare gem hatch I do during this anniversary is Rune Dragon. So I could have had more gems for this anniversary, but it's all good. Here, we hatch another mythic and two legendaries. This is a great pack right here. So the two legendaries, I'm like, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? And it's two non-featured legendaries, but I mean, how can I complain? Because we got Gabriel, which is super exciting. He's, I think he's cool. I don't know if he's like crazy overpowered, but he's just very, he's very interesting. And like the, the guardian angel, I think is what his passive's called. The like infinite shield. That's very, that's very unique. Um, here, new legendary. I'm super excited. I'm hoping for the, t for the T-Rex, but razor storm. That's okay. Razor storm is very good. Um, they have Razor Storm and Volkaiga in this banner. Obviously, the Overwatch entrance and then Lava entrance. Um, but that was five on both banners. So I was, you know, trying to, like, distribute my luck or however that works. Uh, went and did another hatch here. I was like, surely, two legendaries. Got to get the Yin Yang guy, right? Nope. I got a Cyclozar and, would you believe it, a Garden Fairy Violet. 
So, you know, now we have hatched every featured legendary except the new guy. And their pack, no legendaries. but Whatever. What are you going to do? This is feature pack seven. Or that was feature pack seven. This is eight. Pop two legendaries out of this one. Place your bets. What do you think? What do you think? Another Nova Drake. That's Nova Drake number three. And Random Prismerics, who is not a featured legendary. Uh, so I've hatched one of these featured legendaries three times. I've hatched the other two once, and I still haven't gotten the new guy. I'm getting kind of frustrated at this point. Another legendary, another Nova Drake, and another Mushroom guy. So that's Nova Drake number four. And I'm like, dude, come on. Obviously, I'm going to hatch to the Guaranteed Mythic Egg, because why wouldn't you? And here, Guaranteed Mythic Egg, pop a double, and they are both Apollonis. Is that her name? So I've got her plus six right now. I might try and go for some more. We'll see. Spoiler alert, I did not awaken her, but I might still go for it. So this is pack number six on this new banner. Nothing, unfortunately. Pack number seven. And we got a legendary. I'm super hopeful. What's it going to be? Give me some new guy. I see it's a new legendary. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping for the T-Rex and Caesar Dragon. I'm probably the least excited about him. Obviously, Dragon Slayer is a move that's going to have a lot of targets in the game. Uh, Union Excessive, Stun Immunity, decent moves. Natural Selection is just a lot of seconds. He's really cool. I was kind of super hype about him when he first came out. He came out with Annika. That was a few summers ago. Oh, and here we have another new Legendary. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Heck yeah. Got the, the robotic T-Rex, whatever his name is. I forget, but he's super cool. I'm so excited about him. I think he's going to be pretty good. Rex Terminator, yeah. He looks pretty good. He's fast. He's stun immune. He's got hold ground. He's got that energy charge plus. He's got focus blast. And there, I was like, I think I accidentally skipped again, um, but hatch Zephyrin. So now I've gotten all of the featured monsters, all of the new featured monsters out of this banner. Could not be happier. And my final one, Caesar Dragon bonus and Gabriel Shard. So that's 10 on this pack. I'm like so happy at this point and I still have 300 gems left and I'm going for this yin yang guy. Uh, but yeah, Caesar Dragon, I was super hype on him when he came out, but whatever, he's fine. Um, here, two legendaries out of the banner. I'm like, surely. Surely. Oh, Wraith Host? No. But this one has to be it, right? Nope. Another Nova Drake. That's Nova Drake number five for those keeping track at home. And at this point, I was kind of thinking, like, this is not looking good. What if I just, like, hatch and skip, right? Because that's what happened when I got my, uh, when I hatched the Heaven Nymph and when I hatched Zephyrin. But I'm like, surely. Three legendaries? Nope. Look at that. Okthulhu, non-featured monster that we've already hatched twice, which is double the amount of times. I guess anything times zero is zero. But I still haven't hatched this featured guy. And I'm like, come on. Another legendary. It has to be him. And I skipped. And of course, it was something about skipping today. It got me Zephyrin. It got me Heaven Imp. And it got me this uh, Lede Faith. I'll figure out how I want to say his name at some point. But I was like, might as well keep going. Wanted to see if I could awaken Apollonis. We'll see. Skipping, getting nothing. And I ran out of gems to do packs, but I still had some rare gems that I wanted to do. So now the only thing left for me, honestly, is like, I'm going to see if I can get enough gems. I'm not going to pay for it, but I think I'm going to get enough to hopefully do three more uh, 10 and one packs on the Apollonist banner because that'll get me to my guaranteed mythic egg again. And here I just like randomly hatched Tego Senshi, which is great. More new monsters. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to awaken Apollonist. I think another awaken mythic, even if she's not the best is always a good addition to the team. Gabriel, I got a shard. I'm happy with that. But yeah, this was a very, very successful anniversary hatching. Let's look at the haul. We got the new legendary, the new mythic, Mojinus, obviously. 
Another new mythic. New legendary. New legendary. New legendary. New legendary. New legendary. New legendary. Another new mythic. And the super epic guy from the PvP event. So, I could not be happier. I got all of the new things. Like, there is nothing to complain about. This was an amazing hatching. I wish I had done it live. But, yeah. I'm just taking a look here. I do have 30 six-star tickets because I hatched so many Nova Drakes. Um, thinking about buying buying one of the Mythics, actually, because I don't have them. But, yeah, this was a great hatching video. Happy anniversary, everybody. I hope you all hatch everything that you want. I'm really excited for these new guys. I think it's going to be an awesome year, awesome PvP season. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.